go. Keep coming on, girl. yourself into. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why, you use what you've got which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this.
let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Good girl. Hungry girl. Feel good? That's a girl.
Breathe, girl. Come on. Okay, okay. Easy. Easy there, girl. It's all right. Hang in there, girl. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. Come on, then. In the black water. Let's go. Ha! Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube, doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Hi, fellas. This is him. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. 
A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're going to farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm. You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Oh, I'll follow you. Why you stopping? If we're going to go, we should go. 